Hey there, Brian Rooney from Scorpio Marketing Group. Um, so recently I've had um, several of my members asking me uh, how to change details in their squeeze pages within Leadsleep. Um, so I've been promoting Leadsleep uh, quite heavily lately, so it's gained a lot of interest and, and therefore um, lots of members um, have these questions. And it's a very good question, but uh, it's actually a very, very simple solution, um, which is what this video is about. So let's go into um, uh, into Leadsleep. Now I have um, obviously you can go into first you'll go into Page Manager, find whatever it is, uh, whatever page that you want to edit. Um, this is just a dummy one that I made yesterday. Um, so you go into Launch Editor. This is a, such a very simple process. Launch Editor. And it brings up the page, okay? And this one is just a very, very basic page that I made yesterday purely um, for demonstration purposes. So as you can see, um, there is a background. When you click on that, you see that the background over the left-hand side here uh, lights up and also there are different um, there are different things you can change over here the styling the width um, the grayscale the brightness of the page you know like you can as you can see you can make it darker you can make it lighter just so many things to play with like Leads Leap is such a versatile program um, which is probably why I love it so much um, I use it every day without without fail um, so yeah, there's a background, then there is, if you click on this for example, it's a, it's a row, um, and within that row, and obviously you can change colours, if you want to change colours, um, you know, you can just, whatever, really whatever you want, it's, it's just so simple, it's not even funny, and then that's the backgrounds, background type, if you want to change that to something else, maybe you wanted to um, have a radial gradient, which changes the look and feel of it, just makes it look a bit more professional. Um, and this is going to depend, what you're going to do here with your colours and your backgrounds is really going to depend on what it is you're promoting and, and how it fits uh, in with um, what it is you're promoting. So the beauty with, with Leadsleep is that you can just play around with it until you get something that you're really happy with, that looks good, feels good, um, and you think will be uh, eye-catching to your potential customers. Um, so okay, that's how you change the backgrounds. Uh, it's exactly the same down here. Um, if you want to change the yellow uh, to a different color, um, you go into, where's the color for that one? Just have to find it. Uh, where's that color? Oh no, that, that was an image, sorry. Can't change that one because that was actually an image which was yellow. Um, but you can change the wording. So if you wanted to change the color of the wording, you simply highlight, you go into the text color, and you could change it to green or black or whatever you want to do. You could change um, it to italics. You can underline it. You can just really do anything you want. You use strike through. Um, so very, very simple and versatile. Same with any of these placements here. So these are all, um, I'll just move my picture here. These are all just uh, classed as elements. So all the elements are up here, text, um, the hyperlink, icons, background images. Um, if you wanted to put in maybe a, a YouTube video, if you click on that, you'll see that different, uh, different types of uh, video uh, programs come up in here um, and you would enter it into here but we'll just get rid of that because we're not going to do that um, so yes everything within here is called an element and an element could be any one of these things across the top here so to change the words here you simply click on it when you see the dotted uh, border you come over to here and you know um, you type in whatever it is that you want 
and obviously that doesn't look right now it's, it's too bulky so you might want to just extend it out and then you would come over to here and click on middle and it puts it in the middle of that frame simple same with this if you and you just basically click on each element and you can change change the wording this one Oops. It's the same thing once you type something in and if it doesn't fit you can simply increase it and then come over to here and click on the middle uh, or in this case the middle is not good because it doesn't fit properly in here uh, so you would probably just square it up maybe with the one above it um, and the same one here so you can change any of these these little pictures here if you don't want those you simply click on it and delete so for argument's sake you wanted all this to be centered and you didn't want these arrows flashing away you can delete them Delete. And then you could put these in the middle. And as you can see, it squares it up beautifully. If you want to change colors, you simply I'll put this picture over here out of the way. It's a bit of a nuisance. And if you want to change colors, you just you need to highlight the words first. You might want to make that bright red, make it bold. You might want to make that bold but you need to highlight it first and the same here if you wanted to uh, add some more text in um, you can do one or two things you can either click on the button here and it will create a new one and then you just put it in there and, and you know type your new words in here or you can actually just copy you can so say you wanted something very similar to that you come up to here and you click on the copy duplicate and it duplicates it so we would need to just extend this a wee bit and you just drag that down come over here and change your words accordingly um, same with this um, with uh, capture uh, capture bits like this where you want to get someone's name and address so that you might possibly be using in conjunction with an autoresponder. Um, very, very easy to set up as well. Um, if you, obviously the, the name and the best email address are already there. If you wanted to add something else, maybe you wanted to click something else, um, you come up to here and it says add an input field element. You click on that. Um, maybe it's last name, uh, obviously, there's not enough room here for it at the moment so you just move things around um, you might want their first name and their last name maybe don't know um, the next one as you click on these if you click on them one after the other it comes up with a different thing each time um, which is you know no problem at all so then there we go. custom info so you might want to um, if you wanted to change what it is you want to ask the customer, you simply click on it here and in here, up here, input placeholder, you would put um, what it is you want to know. Please uh, enter your affiliate link for the program so if someone was going to be promoting a program and you need to know their affiliate link you put in just type in some words there and when you click out of it you can see it changes and 
the, the new customer knows exactly what you need to put in here. So basically, it's just that that's really it. Um, it is so simple. Uh, and this video is just just want to really show you how quick and easy it is to change anything. Um, and of course, once you're finished with it all, in fact, I do it quite often every few minutes is to just on the top green uh, button, the save button, just save it, um, just so you don't lose anything. Um, and, and that's basically it. Uh, I find Leadsly just such an easy program to use. I create uh, many, 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 many splash pages, lead capture pages, in fact, um, it, I, I create them for other people as well. So. Uh, that's why I love it so much because of its simplicity. It really is just so easy even for the average beginner The newbie who doesn't really know anything about it anyone new to Leadsly should be able to follow this quite easily if I gave someone the link to to this Or any web page any splash page they should be able to come in here and play around You know with with anything um, I'll just show you something else you can do is say we change that color and you wanted it to bounce around or something like that, you can come down here and you can go to animation. And say, say you wanted it for it to bounce, it does that. Um, and it would either do it one, two or three times or you can do it infinite, it'll just keep bouncing. Um, and you can change the speeds, you can make it go faster and you can make it go slow, like as in very slow. Uh, and there are lots of different lots of different things here that you can that you can do. You can change it around. There's a different. It's just so much fun. Um, and so therefore, the variations of um, what you can come up with are fairly much endless. It's it's just at the mercy of your imagination. So I like playing around with it. Um, I do all sorts of little funny things each time I create one. I, I hardly ever create one that looks the same. Um, and just add a bit of a personal touch to it. Um, so that's really it. And uh, I hope the short video has given you um, a very basic understanding on how to um, to change uh, anything uh, in a lead sleep uh, splash page. Or and it's the same pretty much for any page you create, whether it's a splash page, a lead capture page, um, the, the the whole the way it's run is exactly the same. So um, what I've just shown you will work pretty much on, on anything you create. Um, if you wanted to, I'll skip with this again. If you wanted to um, change the template to something else, and I personally, I wouldn't play around with that um, because it's just so much simpler to create a new one. Like it's so easy, it's not even funny. Um, but there'll be another video about creating um, creating splash pages in another video. This one is purely about changing an existing one. So, um, so I hope that's explained it to you. That's how you alter your squeeze pages in Leadsley. Brian Rooney from Scorpio Marketing Group. You have a great day.